Hello and what is up guys, Anthony from Double Tap Airsoft and for today's video we are going to be going over all of my chest rig setups and my battle belt setup for 2021. Hope everybody had a happy healthy new year and everybody is keeping up to date and staying safe with the times. But without further ado, let's get into it. Starting off, we do have my Haley Strategic Micro Chest Rig, which has the little fanny pouch right here. And I do have the back strap and the backing from another micro chest rig, which we will get into after this one. But I do like this chest rig because it does have two magazine pouches for a pistol and three mag pouches right here, which are Crydex inserts. Right here, you do have somewhat of a admin pouch. And this pouch down here is just good for like car keys and stuff like that when you're playing and training. And I like to keep my face covering and my... Um, extra magazines, tourniquets, and stuff like that in the admin pouch. But this is my Haley Strategic Micro Chest Rig. Next up is my One Tegris Micro Chest Rig in Multicam. Um, I did do a review video on this. I'll leave that link down below. But it does have four mag pouches for 5.56 or 7.62 magazines, admin pouch, and two pistol magazine pouches on each side. Got a better close-up of that and the velcro backing is off because i did have it on my other micro chest rig and my pig brig which is actually in the shed before we get into my three big plate carriers i just did just want to go over my new battle belt setup and my helmet setup so this is my condor battle belt which has a bottle of water pouch and a pouch for my cell phone keys and whatnot a tourniquet pouch for when I'm doing Milsons, pistol magazine pouch, and two M4 magazine pouches. Now, this did have a lot more stuff on it, but I did convert it to a backyard and a training rig, just so I'm not bringing my carriers outside and stuff like that and running back and forth. I just grabbed this, pop a couple magazines in it. This is perfect for holding magazines as well, which you can see it's very spacious it is meant for a water bottle but i throw my magazines in there when i have people over or when i am shooting by myself and i don't want to walk back and forth into the shed or into the house this is perfect for what i do in the yard now now these two magazine pouches are brought to you by one tigris as well hence the pouch but the cool thing about these you pull the velcro off and there's a crydex insert right there for it so yeah Moving on to my helmet setup. Now this one does not get a lot of use because I haven't really been playing a lot. Um, but this, I believe this helmet was bought at Quick Shot, and the covering is a One Tigress covering, and this is a, I believe, a Condor Mohawk that I did get off Amazon. Got my patches, my dead light, and the battery patch right here, and I got the. Um, Com set up just tied up in the back and the Peltor ear mores right here with the microphone now moving on to my plate carriers I only have three two of them are the one tigers plate carriers which you did see the reviews um, in my last videos if not I'll leave those links down below but before we get into them I do just want to apologize for my little hiatus um, I've been focusing more on the Instagram page and getting ideas and content rolling and I also did have the virtual garage sale, which is still up. I'll leave that link down below. And whoever bought from it, from watching the last video, I do want to thank you guys a whole lot. And there is no detail in my eyes on this camera. But we are in the spare room. But let's get into the rigs. I had to move back for this one. So this is my Rothko plate carrier. I have three M4 mag pouches right here. A pouch on the side for my phone and whatnot and I do run my dump pouch on the other side just so I can just drop the mags easily and not reach behind my back some patches on the front and the backpack on the back for extra gear and what have you okay so moving on is the one tigris low-profile chest rig 
which I do have the video on. I'll leave that link down below. But this chest rig um, does remind me of the one that uh, T-Rex Arms just came out with. Just that low profile, sleek, all Velcro look. And one thing that I didn't have in the review on this was the panel. Now the panel just clicks into here, like so. And come on. And you just lift it up and pull. The good thing about this is the cummerbunds on the side are um, M4 and 7.62 magazine pouches. So this is perfect for a grab and go, open play rake. Before we get into the last plate carrier setup, which is my main setup, I do just want to say I greatly appreciate all the support everybody has been showing me and everybody sticking it out with the move, everything going on in my life, supporting the Instagram and just standing by and staying tuned on the YouTube channel. I haven't really, well, I think I only lost a couple subscribers since the last actual video, which is an, was a actual review on the Tokyo Marui FNX45. I'll leave that link down below. But since then, I do just want to thank you guys so much for the support and everything like that. And if you guys do want to support me further, I do have a Patreon account. If you guys did want to show some love and support, hit me up on there. But moving on to the last and probably my well more thought out rig setup, which is my black one Tigris plate carrier now mind you all the one tigris plate carriers do come with plates already in them so that is a plus on them alone so on this rig let me move back all right so on this rig you do have a set of one tigris pistol mag pouches in multicam and a m4 mag pouch in multicam the exact same that is on my belt with the crydex insert a little pouch for a flashlight my carabiner I use this little elastic piece here for my earpiece, running through the side to a bayo fang to my T-Rex assault backpack with another M4 mag pouch, which I do either put the bayo fang back there or I do have an extra M4 magazine. But yeah, this rig is the rig that I do use predominantly when I am in the backyard shooting and taking pictures and filming and stuff like that. This is a full setup from comms to magazine pouches. So I did go for a, I guess you could say a quick response slash medic style. There is still more stuff coming in for this from One Tigress. But thank you guys so much already. And uh, yeah, this is the plate carrier. But guys, that about wraps up for today's video on the gear that I've accumulated over the past year and like i did state in my instagram if you guys do not follow me there i will leave that tag down below 2021 is going to be the year of gear i already have my mark 18 set up my sr16 set up and my mod zero set up or mod o set up so i really don't need guns and all that good stuff everything is already fully kitted out by supply airsoft which again john lee thank you so much and um yeah, so I decided to gear everything towards gear and setups. So these are the setups that I have so far. I will do an update video in a couple months, and we'll see where I'm at. But stay tuned for more gear reviews, more haul reviews, and or more haul videos, and more training videos. But guys, that about wraps up for today's video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And once again... Hit me up on the Hop Up app and on Patreon. I'll leave those links down below. See you guys in the next video and hopefully maybe soon on the field.